so first question uh, the left internal capsule lesion produces right hemiplegia so before that uh, we should know about the pyramidal tract and how the motor system functioning uh, for this so about the pyramidal tract uh, we have the uh, corticospinal tract as well as the corticobulbar tract and uh, their origin is from mainly from the uh, motor cortex that is present in the uh, precentral gyrus in our frontal lobe and it also gets origin from other areas like uh, the premotor areas then the supplementary motor areas and all so this corticospinal tract and the corticobulbar tract fibers descend down as corona radiata that is if we have the cerebral hemisphere here so these tracts take their origin from the cortex and then they descend down as a radiation and then they pass through something known as an internal capsule so in the internal capsule all these fibers converge and they pass through the posterior limb of the internal capsule so the internal capsule has got an anterior limb a genu and a posterior limb and mainly these fibers pass through the posterior limb that is the corticus spinal tract fibers passes through the uh, posterior limb of internal capsule and then they descend down and from the cortex they descend down and then they reach the brain stem in the brain stem we have the midbrain and in the midbrain we have anteriorly the crest cerebri and they pass through this like this and in the pons they reach and the basal part of the pons they, these fibers pass through that that is a ventral basal part of the pons and then they descend reach the medulla in the medulla we have something known as the uh, pyramidal decussation where these most of the fibers of the corticospinal tract cross over and then they descend down as the lateral corticospinal tract and then they reach the each level of spinal cord and they end in the anterior horn of the spinal cord they end here the anterior horn of the spinal cord and from the the lower motor neurons start which goes to each uh, uh, as nerves to each, supply each muscles of our body so from the anterior horn cells then onwards we have the lower motor neurons and from cortex till here we have the upper motor neurons and also we have a uh, crossing over at the level of um, medulla so when you get a lesion an internal capsule lesion what happens is all these fibers will get cut off here and then what happens the entire pathway gets cut off and then the opposite side will get affected so if there is a lesion in the internal capsule on the left side we get a um, hemiplegia on the right side so that is why we get a hemiplegia on uh, right side and it is very important to know the blood supply of internal capsule because if any kind of uh, thrombus formation or hemorrhage uh, occurs here then it may lead to right hemiplegia because all these fibers are passing through this uh, area of the brain.